Hey everybody, so today's video blog is on the topic of uh, lumps in the neck. So uh, I see patients pretty frequently uh, who are either referred for this or just come to see me for this reason. Uh, and it, basically they've noticed uh, a lump or several lumps within their neck. Um, and I would say probably for the, the majority of people with this problem, at least if they're not actively saying it, I think people are worried that you know, they're, they have cancer in their neck or some sort of terrible problem. So uh, just to start off, um, most of the time, lumps in the neck are not cancer and they're not anything real serious. So, you know, just based on the simple law of averages, uh, you know, the odds are in your favor if you have a lump in your neck, that it's not anything terrible. But it's certainly something that warrants, you know, evaluation and looking into a little bit further sometimes. So, you know, I guess the first question is what what are the possibilities for what this lump is uh, and really there's kind of a laundry list of things um, you know I'd say the most common is that the lump in the neck is a swollen lymph node and the reason for that is every one of us has dozens of lymph nodes in both sides of the neck um, so it's not at all uncommon that one of these lymph nodes becomes swollen um, this can happen because of uh, infection or allergies or a number of reasons. Um, and that's because lymph nodes are supposed to swell up in response to infection. Uh, they help to, they're part of the body's immune system and they help to fight infections. So it's not unusual that people get a bit of swollen, swelling in their lymph nodes, which then goes away after the infection has resolved. But, you know, sometimes there can be more serious things going on. Um, one of those things being an actual infection within the lymph node. Um, this is what we call lymphadenitis. Uh, and usually with that, you know, it's pretty obvious. The lymph node gets very swollen, it's very painful, um, and that's something that we can typically treat with, with medications. Um, so, you know, the I'd say the typical story for something more serious, like a cancer in the lymph node. Um, so the usual story or the classic story would be, you know, the patient first noticed a lump in their neck maybe a couple of months earlier, and since then, that lump has just kind of gradually and slowly gotten bigger and bigger. Um, usually with cancer and lymph nodes, there's no pain. So the lump is not painful, but when you press on it, it feels hard like a rock. Um, uh, and sometimes it can actually, you know, it can you can sort of wiggle it around and move it, but sometimes it sort of seems stuck to the tissues and doesn't move around very easily. Um, so that, that, I would say, is sort of the, the classic story of cancer in the lymph nodes in the neck. Um, so, you know, it doesn't mean that if that's not your story, you don't have cancer, but I think it makes it less likely. Um, and just because that's what you're feeling doesn't also doesn't mean that it's absolutely cancer, but it may need to be looked into. So normally, uh, you know, depending on the size of the lump in the neck and where it is, uh, we may do, you know, an ultrasound or some kind of x-ray or imaging test to get a better look at the lump. Uh, and based on that, uh, we sometimes will recommend a needle biopsy where um, some cells are collected out of the lump to try and see what it is. And then based on all of that, um, we can go from there in terms of treatment or just watching it until it gets better. So anyway, uh, it's a very broad topic, uh, but I hope that kind of scratches the surface and at least gives some answers to some of the more pressing questions that I see with this problem. Um, so if you have a lump in your neck or you're concerned about that, uh, I'm happy to see you and look into that further. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.